Hello friends, welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in defense sector. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL has handed over three through advanced light helicopters LHMK3 to Indian Navy and two to the Indian Coast Guard. The helicopters were handed over during the Aero India 2021 in the presence of Defense Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh. HL and Indian Navy has signed a contract to deliver 16 ALH MK3 which is an improved version equipped with Shakti 1H engines, new electronic warfare EW suite and warning systems, automatic shaft, flare dispensers and improved vibration control systems. As per the Defense Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh, the remaining helicopters from the contract are under various stages of production, flight tests and the plan to deliver all the helicopters within the contract will schedule despite the production slowdown due to COVID restrictions. The LH MK3 is fitted with state-of-art glass cockpit and involves integration of 19 new major systems. The helicopter will not be operated from ship but from shore and has been designed based on the requirement of Indian Navy and Coast Guard. HL Dhruv is a world-class helicopter in 5.5 ton category. It is an all-weather, multi-role, multi-mission state-of-art helicopter. HL ALH or Advanced Light Helicopter comes up with an excellent maneuverability, user friendly control, low vibration and noise level, high speed and efficient lift which makes it a superior among the contemporary helicopters. ALH Dhruv has logged close to 3 million cumulative flight hours and has proven its merit in versatile operations. As of October 2020, more than 300 HL Dhruvs have been produced for domestic and export market. HL Dhruv has four military variants. HL Dhruv MK1, which was the first variant, had conventional cockpit with mechanical gauges and turbo mecha TM333 2B2 turboshaft engines. A total of 56 MK1 have been delivered to Indian Army. HL Dhruv MK2 is similar to MK1 except for the newer HL IAI glass cockpit. HL Dhruv MK3 has an improved Shakti 1H engines, new electronic warfare suite and warning system, automatic shaft and flare dispenser, and improved vibration control system. The ALH MK3 with new Shakti 1H engine has improved high altitude performance and can operate at an altitude over 6 km. It can host 14 fully equipped soldiers. DGCA has praised its crash worthy design as few accidents have not caused any fatalities. Last but not least is HAL MK4 which is also known as Dhruv WSI Weapon System Integrated or HL Rudra. It is an attack variant designed for Indian Army. HL Rudra has been armed with both anti-tank and anti-aircraft missiles and a 20mm turret mounted cannon. The Dhruv WSI is also capable of conducting combat air support and anti-submarine warfare roles. Recently, DRDO has also conducted tests of anti-tank guided missiles from HL Rudra. Now talking about its performance, HL Dhruv can cruise at a speed of 250 km per hour with maximum speed of 291 km per hour for MK3 variant. It has a range of 630 km and endurance of up to 3 hours and 42 minutes for MK3. It has a service ceiling of 6100 meters and G limit of 3.5. HL Dhruv is integrated with the latest electronics and avionics such as RWS 300 radar warning system or LWS 310 laser warning system, MAW 300 missile approach warning system, SAB IDS 3 self protection suite, BOPL ECM dispenser. It is also fitted with Israeli ELM 202 maritime radar. It is a long range maritime surveillance radar with a range of up to 200 nautical miles and capable of detecting even small targets in adverse sea conditions. This truly makes HAL Dhruv as an all-weather operating helicopter. It has an automatic tracking for all the detected targets. Talking about its engine, 
HL MK1 and MK2 is powered by two turbo TM33 2B2 turbo shaft engine that can generate a power of 807 kilowatts. The HL MK3 and MK4 is powered by improved two Shakti 1H turbo shaft engine that can generate a power of 1068 kilowatts. After the 26/7 Mumbai terror attacks that claimed the lives of 166 people and left 300 others injured, Indian Navy realized the need for long-range surveillance helicopters. The induction of LH Dhruv will augment the Navy's responsibility for coastal security. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.